Yeah. 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 Yeah.
presence has become uh, legendary in recent years. What, when, when did he pass? Ariana retired in 79. Right. I'm not I think sure shortly thereafter. It wasn't about a year or two after. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> and then behind me is uh, Pictures of Micah. When we first opened, mm -hmm. we only had 200 seats. That's the picture we saw in the seminar. 1970, we expanded to this size, which seats 600, including the bar, the show, and the back room. And this was the uh, artist rendering before we opened of what it would look like. And Bob kept it here, and Jack was like, This is going to be the new Micah that's been in the office since before 1970. And 1970 was the last time that we expanded. And uh, all these articles here or from when Bob Thornton was alive. Should we keep this here for his memory? <clears throat> a little history about me. Um, after Bob Van Dorp was a general manager, I my father was working here under him. Uh, my father became the next general manager, and my mother was dancing in the show at the oh, same time. Nice. So right. they met here. They were both working here when I was born. I was oh, born no. into the mic. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That's so, that's why to get a foot in the door. Yes. So. <laughs> my first job was working in the bar in high school. Uh, I worked under Phil Lowry, who was the you second head bartender after Mariano. He was trained under Mariano, so he told me a lot of the his secrets and stuff that used to happen back in the day so uh, I trained with him for a few years so he retired and uh, I think it was three years in the bar and four years as a waiter uh, throughout my college years nice. and after college I left got a degree in hospitality management worked for a corporate chain for about five years until the opening came up so I came back had my early training here, had some corporate training, and been back for about 25 years. Oh, oh, nice. 25 yeah. plus seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Nicely played. That's my yeah. history. That is great. All right, anybody have questions about the office? Okay. Wow. Oh, also the picture here. Um, this picture, everybody knows Sven Kirsten, the Book of Tiki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had a poly pop art exhibit in Paris, France. Yep. And he wanted this picture and the frame, everything sent to Paris, France. Wow. Uh, so he boxed it up. He was supposed to keep it for three months. About two years ago, he kept it for about a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, so we had to keep calling him, calling him, calling him. Where's our picture? Where's our picture? But we finally got it back. And this picture's been here for so long. When you take it out, the yeah. wallpaper is discolored. So the picture <laughs> spot right there. Yes. <laughs> Good ask me, what, what's yeah. West, that white spot there? I was like, well, that picture <laughs> is on yeah. tour. Hmm. That, that tiki by the door as we leave is the one Tiki Diablo just the <coughs> mug out. Yeah. Yes. That's what yeah. I'm yeah. here. Right. Tiki right. Diablo is back yeah. here. You saw this mug, and it was the inspiration for the, this, latest mug. It's, this month it's for this year's Hoop Diablo. Wow. Right. He's going to send some to us. <laughs> and there's one more tiki like this by our Samoa room as you go up and down the stairs. Is that one of the pillars, and hmm. he's made of wood. Hmm. And this was one of the replicas made by uh, Will uh, Anders, and uh, we keep that back here. Is that a concrete or a resin? Or? Yeah, that's concrete. Okay. We nice. have uh, we oh, have molds of all the tiki's <laughs> outside, mm -hmm. and about five or seven years ago, Will was able to figure out we used to have them out of plaster, and mm -hmm. they would break within months. Right. He was right. able to figure out how to create the right consistency for cement to fill every little crack. Oh, that's oh, that's out perfect. amazing. Yeah. So this one weighs oh, about 60, 70 pounds. All right, so I can't put that in my carry-on luggage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. right this way. Do you get tired of the way Thank Shop is where you can get a uh, souvenir of your visit. Um, 
Now, very similar to Disney. Everybody always tells me, oh, you guys conquered Disney. Uh, but Disney World actually opened up in 1970. We were open in 56. And uh, they were actually here before they opened to get inspiration for the Polynesian. And uh, every time they try to change a few things, they'll always send some of their animators and come over here and get inspiration. And uh, if you go to Trader Sam's, you guys been to Trader Sam's in Orlando? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's the way it was designed, uh, Brandon told me, after Florida Tiki establishments. So there's a couple um, honorees to uh, the Maikai there, as well as some older tiki's. And the one Trader Sam's in California is honored to all the California Tiki establishments. So they're both designed a little bit different. And then also for the women, if you go into the gift shop, you'll see the decor is a uh, Southeast Asian style decor. And the women's bathroom is designed similar. So the men, you can't go in there, but if you go to the gift shop, that's what it looks like. And for the women, if you turn around, look at this nautical style uh, wall here. The men's bathroom looks like this. Five years ago, our women's bathroom was nominated for the top 10 best bathrooms in the United States. Wow. Yeah. Isn't there something about the gift shop that it was like reconstructed? Like the original was reconstructed or like, uh, like there's something about it? Like yes. But also for the gift shop here, when it originally uh, was opened, it was a fine dining room called our Bangkok room. And uh, that's why all the stylings of Bangkok, there's tables in here. You kind of walk in here, you see how it's signed, it's signed like a fine dining room. And our original gift shop was across the street. It was a big yeah. area. That building over there? Yeah. yeah. It was open there for about 15 years. Um, a lot of people didn't want to cross the street to buy gifts. And fine dining was starting to slow down, so we moved the gift shop over here, transported that into a party banquet room. So we used to rent that out. About five years ago, one of the hurricanes did some damage. Uh, so we closed that down until we can uh, get that rebuilt. And right now it's just a storage house. So we don't use that at all. And, and the Molokai, with, their, with the theme of the uh, mutiny on the bounty, came in the 70s, right? Yes. So the Molokai was originally designed after the mutiny on the bounty movie. You guys know that? Was yeah, that the 50s, 40s? Oh, yeah. Marlon Brando. And the designer, the rope guy who did all the rope work for that movie, then came here and did all the rope work for the Mai Tai. And that was the last project he did before he passed away. I think he passed away about a year or so after that. So that was same the set designer. Did that happen yes. here? Yes. And this concludes my uh, backstage tour. All right. <laughs> Thank you.